Hi, in this video we're going to be going over the read aloud feature in Microsoft Edge and what that'll do is it will take a web page that you're on and read it out loud for you. So it works fairly well but it depends on what web page you're on and how complicated it is. You know if it has like advertisements all spread in the middle of it and lots of stuff on the sidebars here and so on. So I have a couple different examples. This one's a pretty straightforward site with you know text in the middle and just a picture and so on. I have another one I'll show you in a minute. So what you want to do is once you're there, you click on this A with the little sound lines coming off of it. Tutorials. And automatically start reading. It Tutorials for you. are lessons that take the reader by the hand the, through a series of steps to complete a project of some kind. They are what your project needs in order to. So if you need to go back, you could do the back paragraph. You need to go forward. You do the forward paragraph. But I've noticed it's a little bit buggy sometimes when you click the forward. It'll skip a paragraph. Sometimes if you're on a paragraph and you want to go back to the previous one, it'll just go to the starting of the paragraph rather than um, the previous paragraph. So this kind of speaks over my voice, so I kind of have to pause in between uh, playing it. So I'll try and show you here. They are wholly learning-oriented, and specifically, they are oriented towards learning how Forward. rather than... The important thing is that having done the... See, there it skipped a paragraph, so I'm going to start playing and try going back. The tutorial, the look. The important thing is that having... Back. The important thing... Back. The end and the actions are up... See, it took a couple tries to make it go back to the uh, previous paragraph. So what I like to do is I like to just click my mouse where I want it to go. It's, it's still not perfect, but it seems to work better, so I'll show you that. Up to you, but deciding what... Most software projects have really bad. You are the teacher. Hey, are wholly learning oriented and spe of the sections describing the four kinds of documentation. So that's one way I like to use it. So let me show you on another website here. So this one's a little more complicated with the advertisements in the middle. So we'll start playing here and see what it does. By Timothy. The history of computers began with primitive designs in the early 19th image credit Getty slash 1801 to 1900. So you can see it's starting to read this little sidebar here because it's kind of connected to the main page rather than being a side advertisement. So that's one thing you got to look out for. And then it's also like you, like you saw, I was reading the image credit down here. So that's something you'll have to skip ahead to as well. 1801 to 19. He history of computers goes back over 200 years. And one other thing you could do is you have some voice options here. So if you want to speed it up or slow it down, you could try that. So let's speed it up all the way. 200 years. At first theorized by mathematicians and entrepreneurs. During Obviously, that's too fast. Then you could slow it down all the way. During the 19th century. Kind of slow, but not too bad. So, and then you could also change the voice. Well, let's change it. Do we have a guy here? I think that's a guy. His name's Guy. Century mechanical calculating machines were designed and built to solve the increasingly voice. complex That's number easy. crunching challenges. And when you're done, you could just close out of it. So, like I said, it works okay. Um, and depending how what web page you're on is how good it'll work. So you could just try it for yourself. And like I said, I like to just kind of click to navigate rather than uh, use the buttons. But maybe you'll have better luck. So once again, just open the page, click on the little A here, and then you'll be uh, having your web pages read to you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.